What's going on folks, I'm Jordan from Duck Gun Chronicles and on today's video we're going to be talking all about the Banded 2.0 waders and this time it's going to be the Elite Series, the Elite Banded 2.0 waders. Um, but before we jump into that guys, uh, if you're new here, hit that sub button. Um, we got content coming all season long, it's about to get rolling hot and heavy. Uh, the main game of this channel is we put out hunting videos from the start of September all the way through February, so you're not going to want to miss it. Also, if you guys like audio podcast version uh, of talking about duck hunting, um, then definitely check out the Duck Gun Podcast. I put out a weekly episode with Elliot from Freelance Duck Hunting, um, and we do it live right here on my channel as well um, every week. So definitely check that out, Duck Gun Podcast. All right, on to the main topic of the video. So, as I said, yeah, that's where I'm talking all about the banded 2.0 Elite 2.0 waders. Right there, you guys can see it, the Elite 2.0 waders. Um, and last year, I actually ran, I ran the banded 2.0 waders. And so this year, it's a little bit of an upgrade going to the Elites. And the other difference from last year's, um, and I did a full review on just the regular 2.0 waders. Um, and so now I'm going to do one on the Elites. And on my 2.0s, I had, um, I can't remember what they call it, the stocky or the stout, <laughs> the stout version. And this year I went with regular. Not because I'm really any smaller. I'm a big dude. Um, but the, the banded 2.0 waders just run big. So on these Elites, I went with the standard size. And I've tried them on already, guys. Um, I'm happy I went with the, the switch. Like I said, bigger dude. Uh, but even with a jacket on that, it fits just right. So if you're any bigger than me, then you probably want to go with the stout. But if you're you know, my size or smaller, then go ahead um, and get regulars. Uh, because, I mean, at the end of the day, we do buy products for functionality, but we also want to look awesome, look legit, and, and doing that uh, when we're hunting out there. So, um, you know, it definitely hits all the checks, especially when you get one that fits right. So let's go ahead and just have a brief overview of the product. So first thing on these boots, much like the regulars, is they got nice boots, lots of tread, and this is definitely, definitely different tread than on the just standard 2.0s. It's more of just a, a regular boot where the 2.0s had uh, tread that kind of stuck out, but honestly, I, I don't think it helped a lot to have that tread. So I will see on these if this tread helps anymore in slippery situations. Um, so yeah, they are the 1600 gram Vinsla insulated boots um, right here on the breathable way. So if you guys have done neoprene in the past, um, you know, last year was my first year hunting the complete year with, with breathables um, compared to the neoprene and it was awesome. I will never hunt neoprenes by choice again now that I've hunted a full season with breathables. Breathables are awesome. And so uh, these are the breathables. I didn't get the ones with the insulation on the inside. Um, I just plan, like I did last year, to layer up underneath, wear waiter pants, your jacket, all that, and I was good to go. Um, but last year it didn't get super cold. So we'll see on a super, super cold season um, if I regret it, but so far I don't. Um, but the other thing, the useful thing to, to notice on these as that they have a brush guard right here across the legs. Um, so if you're gonna be walking through the water, you can't see crop duster, crop duster, freaking Titus. So, um, like I was saying, it's got the brush guard right there. So you're walking through the water, you don't see a stick. It's not gonna just poke right through the breathable. Um, insulation, it'll hit the brush guard and you'll have, it's, it's kind of like a canvas type material. So you should be good to go kind of blocking from knee down any incidents like that. And then right here it has a belt that cinches up everything. Um, again on, on the stocky ones or the stout ones, um, the belt was so big that I had it all the way cinched up and it really just kind of was, was droopy. 
Um, and on these is way, way better for a guy my size. Um, so yeah, that leads us up to the top. And a big thing that's different on the elites to the regulars is that it has these two waterproof pockets. And they are completely waterproof. Uh, this is a waterproof zipper right here. So you could put you know anything in there that you don't want to get wet right here in that front pocket. So I'm really, really pumped about that. Um, and then just like the 2.0s, it's got six shell holders. Um, and the reason that, that Bandit puts six shell slots in there, uh, opposed to like more like you see on maybe like a Capella's neoprene one is, um, you know, if you're wearing these waders, you only need six shots to finish off your limit. And that's just a joke. It'll probably take me three times that many <laughs> if I'm lucky. So, so there you see it, all loaded up with the shells, and you just push it right there on the bottom, they pop out nice and easy. Um, so yeah, banded, three and a half inch, 12 gauge shells right there in the pocket. Um, and then the last thing, and mine doesn't have the light bar in it right now, um, but there's a light bar that goes in this pocket and the battery goes on the inside. So it's a little uh, AA battery set and it just has an LED bar. And it's not like gonna replace your headlamp, but if you need to get something out of your blind bag or something like that, bam, you pop your light on right here on your chest and you can have your uh, your blind bag all lit up, which is pretty, pretty nifty, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I think just beyond that, uh, I should probably try them on. Show them to you guys at least. Like I said, I've already worn them. But let's go ahead and put them on. Well, actually, I think I forgot about a couple pockets. So right here, this is just like the 2.0 on the main pocket right here. It is nice and fleece lined. Awesome, awesome pocket. Interior, there is the bag where you can put your cell phone or whatever. Um, and then also the fleece bag, hand warmer on the inside, which I love those. I use those a lot. Um, you know, especially when this get with this one gets wet, I'll put my put my hands in this all hunt long, keeping them warm. But as soon as like you have to walk too far in the water or something that gets wet, it's nice to have a secondary one. So really cut down on the amount of gloves I wore this season. Um, you know, compared to having neoprene. Um, and then coupled with the banded Swift jacket, it had the pockets right here on the side too. So you just have lots of options to keep your hands warm with the banded gear. So. Uh, again, like the 2.0s, the elites are different, or not, are the same in this. Just one of the straps clips, the other one doesn't. So this one's always like that. So let's go ahead and put them on. I will say about this, um, and I'm not positive, it's, it's something I'm not 100% sure on, but just putting these on and feeling them, it really does feel like the boots on the elites are softer and squishier. So, like I said, <laughs> I'm not sure, but it just, out of the box, that's how it feels. So, again, let's this up. Get these tight, nice and tight. And like I said, guys, this is just regulars. It's not stout. So, I mean, getting the jacket in there and everything, it's just, it's snug. But I like it to be snug. I don't want to look, you know, all baggy walking around. Take the camera off the stand here so you guys can... Get a good view of me, or try to. Oh, stepping on the old Crocs. Let's see if I put it down over here. And walk backwards. So. Walk outside. How about that? All right, so I got it where you guys can see it. Like I said, these are regulars. You can see I, I got a little bit extra right here. But, I mean, I think they look freaking awesome. And this is, this is the natural gear camo. So, we'll go back in here and finish up. So yeah, there you guys have it. That is the Elite 2.0 banded breathable waders. I freaking love them. Uh, like I said, last year used the regulars, and this year got a little bit of an upgrade. So, um, you know, definitely pumped about that. So, if you guys have any questions about them, feel free to drop it in the comments. But I think that's all I got for today. Um, can't wait for season. It's rolling in here fast. Alrighty, fellas. I'm Jordan, Duck and Chronicles, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go.